God and they're being left behind because of lack of energy. On this occasion, they haven't made a barrage at all. They've allowed the riders to use the vehicles briefly. Bit of a long line now as they continue the charge through the town. And it's very anxious now for the riders who have got a man on their team who has packs a good sprint. Hi, Melanie here from Yarn Journeys. It is stage three of the Tour de Fleece and the Tour de France. So I thought I would pop in for a bit of an update. Today I plied my bobbins for my sa first sample skein. Here's what it looks like right here. So um, it's a bit uneven. I learned quite a bit. Uh, in many different ways. So some places it's overspun, some places it's underspun. Um, it kinda uneven, but that's okay. Um, it's 3.9 ounces and about 144 yards. So that's my grist for this skein. Um, and of course, when I finish it and I put it in the bath, um, it's gonna puff up and I might use some yardage. So I was hoping for a little bit more yardage per ounce. Uh, but then again, I one of the, this was a huge learning experience uh, with this first skein. Um, the major thing I learned is uh, that I'm going to switch from a short forward draw spinning method for the singles to a short backward draw. I think I can get a more even and consistent yarn that way, as well as one that will have better grist. So, um, that's that. One of the things I wanted to show was my homemade lazy cake. So spinning can be a really expensive hobby. There's the expense for the wheel. Um, there's the expense for the fiber. Uh, there's expense for all the accessories. So for example, I most recently sprung for a fancy lazy not this a fancy nitty knotty this is a nitty knotty from paradise fibers made out of wood um, and it's adjustable so it actually i can go from a two yard to a one and a half um, so it comes apart so that for easy storage like it a lot but i haven't yet sprung for a fancy lazy cake. So following lots of instructions online, I made one from a shoebox. So I have got some old knitting needles. I poked holes in a shoebox and made myself a lazy cake. Now I didn't, whoops. No, I wasn't very forward thinking because I only have space for two bobbins. And if I ever want to do a three ply, I may need to come up with another solution. But the price on this one was just right. Um, and what I also like about it is that it also fits spindles. So that's my update for today. I am going to go give this yarn its bath so I can see what it looks like finished. And we'll go forward from there. Tomorrow is a transfer day. So the riders of the Tour de France are going to be traveling to Dunkirk. So there will be no racing tomorrow. So I will not be spinning tomorrow and there will be no vlog. So I will see you back here on Tuesday.
Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying these vlogs. And tell me how your tour de fleece is going. Um, how's your sample skeins or sampling going? What have you learned so far? Um, I hope to hear how you're doing. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Their team car is a long ways down, so it takes quite a while, especially on a tiny little road like this, to get to the back of the field to provide service for their riders. And we spoke with 